How's it going everyone? Today it's going to be a little bit of a quick video probably, but a very interesting one, um, I think at least. So I always see people on Twitter saying, uh, I use autopilot 99% of the time, etc. But today I have the opportunity to really test that out. So I'm going on a road trip. I'm currently in Toronto, Ontario, and I'll be driving to Montreal, Quebec. I will be pit stopping in Ottawa though, because it is currently uh, just a little after 9 p.m. So I don't want to do the entire Toronto to Montreal trip uh, from nine, because I'll, I'll arrive at what, four in the morning or something like that, uh, including supercharging. Um, but all that to say, I really want to see the percentage that I actually use autopilot. So I have a couple phones here. I'll be uh, putting a timer. Now this is very scientific, but I'll be putting a timer when I use autopilot. And then of course, when I'm not, I'll turn it off. You'll, you'll see in the video, but so I want to see what the real percentage of my road trip is actually me driving. All right. So as you can tell, I am in the Yorkdale mall parking lot here. And so let me take out my little phone here. And so I'll start the timer. As you can tell, I just pulled into the Pickering Supercharger. Um, it was just a little leg of the trip from Toronto to Pickering. It was about half an hour, 40 minutes. Now, it is worth noting that today the Toronto Raptors had their big uh, parade because they just won the NBA uh, championship. So there was a little bit of traffic, even though it's 9.50 right now. Um, so yeah, this video is absolutely anecdotal, but I just wanted to make the video. I thought it'd be pretty interesting. And there's a Model 3 that's pulling up right now. All right, so I'm leaving the Pickering Supercharger right now. The next stop en route is the Belleville Supercharger. Um, now this is another uh, anecdotal caveat that is gonna be unique to my trip only. I'm stopping at a couple superchargers because I'll be doing a su little supercharger review videos that you guys all know and love. Um, so yeah, it's gonna add a little bit of time, but still, I still wanna see what the ratio of autopilot uh, to not autopilot driving uh, is on my trip. So here we are, uh, car is charged to get to Belleville, and yeah, let's go. So sorry if this video is basically just going to be cuts from supercharger to supercharger, uh, but I don't want to film on the road. I don't have uh, any passengers that can film uh, me. So yeah, it'll just have to be cuts from supercharger to supercharger. But I checked the times and so far I've driven for an hour and 52. Well, like that's what I have on the timer that I've been in the car. And for my autopilot timer, I think it was an hour 32. So yeah, so far, quick maths, I don't know what that is, like 80, 90, I'd say more than, yeah, 90% uh, of the driving so far has been autopilot. Um, but I'm only here in Belleville right now. I just finished up uh, shooting a Belleville supercharger review. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I don't even know what video is gonna be first, but anyways, as you can tell, I'm kind of tired. It's, it's past midnight right now. Um, but yeah, still gonna stop in Kingston to do a video and then the final destination for the night will be Ottawa. Uh, so still have about two or three, uh, rather three hours. Um, and yeah, let's go. All right, here I am at the Kingston Supercharger. Um, so far the trip has been going great. Uh, the things that people say on Twitter have been mostly true. I am really honestly using like 99% autopilot. Um, of course, I don't have the numbers on me right now, but uh, towards the end of the video, I'll break down all the numbers with the exact time and, um, and everything. But now I say exact time. Obviously, it's gonna be off a couple seconds because I can't like turn on autopilot and turn on the timer at the same time. Um, so it's gonna be off by a couple seconds here and there. It's not an exact science. Uh, but I just wanted to have an idea 
of what my actual autopilot usage was on this trip. Now, I've said it before, I think I'm pretty tired, um, but I'll say it again. Uh, this trip is absolutely anecdotal. Um, I could have done this trip with only one, maybe two superchargers, um, uh, supercharger stops, but I wanted to get uh, a couple stops that I haven't been at uh, to make videos. Uh, stay tuned for those, of course. Um, and yeah, of course the trip is not over. I'm in Kingston. I'm about halfway to Montreal, I think, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll be stopping in Ottawa and then continuing the trip in the morning. Um, so yeah, I think this might be the last you see of me for tonight. Uh, and then I'll catch you guys in the morning. So a little bit of a change of events here. Um, as you can tell, it is 2.24 a.m. At exactly 2.01 a.m., I got locked out of autopilot. Um, so, you know, it gave me all the warnings, uh, you know, put your hand on the steering wheel, you know, it gave me all the beeps. And I was, I don't know how well you could see, but I was putting my hands on the steering wheel, but it just wasn't sensing it. And usually if it doesn't sense it after a couple of grabs, I would just go and turn autopilot off and resume it in a couple seconds. And as I was going to turn it off, I got the big red autopilot disabled for the rest of the drive. Um, so yeah, for the past 20 minutes, I've been driving uh, just on cruise control. So I turned the autopilot timer off. Um, so yeah, this, this makes this trip even more anecdotal. Um, as I, well, for 20 minutes, haven't been driving on autopilot. All right, so I just left the car, uh, you know, parked it, uh, locked it, walked away from it, car off, car on. Now let's hope that the autopilot's back. All right, there we are. We can see the little steering wheel there. And we're back on autopilot. Alright, good morning. After three hours of sleep, I'm ready to continue the trip. Um, we're going to stop in Castleman uh, before uh, Montreal because I currently have 90 kilometers of range. And Montreal, according to the map, is 214 kilometers away. So we're going to have to charge it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's continue. <music> there we have it I just arrived at Castleman right here um, 12 superchargers uh, arrived with 19 kilometers left uh, cutting a little close there uh, but yeah so now I'm gonna supercharge a little gonna grab some breakfast um, and then we're gonna continue our way to Montreal so I will say that autopilot has performed exceptionally well on this trip so far um, with the exception of course of when the it gave me a little time out there earlier um, because it just wasn't accepting my hands uh, on the steering wheel, I guess. Um, however, from the drive, fr just right now from Ottawa to Castleman, there were two instances where it's a little iffy. So uh, there's one instance where there was a big piece of debris in the road, and I didn't see until the last second because the car in front um, swerved around it. And like, well, I was in front of the car, or behind the car rather, so I couldn't see it. And it was, it was a pretty big, I think it was a box. Uh, and then a little later, there was a car that was pulled over with the trunk open. So maybe something flew out the trunk. I'm not too sure. Um, but autopilot didn't see it. And I didn't see it until the very last second. And then I took over and like maneuvered around it. Um, so maybe autopilot should have reacted to that. I'm not too sure. And then there's a second instance where I was just trying to pass a pretty slow truck and it just didn't want to turn. I turned on the turn signal, it kind of went halfway, and then it, there's a message, uh, uh, what did it say, something like, uh, lane change canceled. But like, I didn't touch anything. I looked around me, it didn't seem like there was anything. It just stopped halfway through. 
Um, so yeah, other than those three little things, the, uh, the, the car giving me a timeout for no reason because I had my hands on the wheel, uh, the little debris there that it seemed to have missed and uh, the lane change that it just stopped, uh, Autopilot has been doing great so far. So it is now a week later. Um, I just finished up playing tennis, so sorry if I'm all sweaty and gross. Um, but yeah, I was just editing the video and I realized I never actually uh, concluded the video. So here's the conclusion. It was kind of hard to document the whole journey, um, not only because I was alone, but also um, I was extremely tired. Uh, I had just taken the train for six or seven hours and then uh, walking around Toronto for a couple hours and then I drove well from, as you just saw, from Toronto to. Pickering to Belleville to Kingston to Ottawa to Castleman to Montreal. I hope I got that all right. So yeah, I was very tired, but I hope I did my best to convey uh, my experience uh, through this video. So in the end, I was of course on the road longer than this, um, but my total time driving, so this would include uh, navigating through parking lots on the highway, um, driving to a supercharger, like every, like when the car is in motion or at least on, um, it was just over six and a half hours, so six hours, 34 minutes, um, which from Toronto to Montreal is some pretty good time. As for the total time I spent on autopilot, it was a little over five hours uh, with five hours, five minutes um, and 17 seconds there. Um, now, there are a couple things I'd like to mention. This trip, um, I truly believe, uh, could have really been done at least 90% on autopilot. And there are some things that I'll mention now that did uh, change that factor. So one of the main reasons um, why the autopilot time is effectively, well, an hour and a half less than the total driving time um, is just my frequent stops. So when I left Toronto uh, and I put uh, Ottawa in the GPS, I think it told me to stop at Port Hope and Kingston, if I'm not mistaken. But as you saw in the video, I stopped in Pickering, Belleville and Kingston before Ottawa. Uh, so those frequent stops uh, add on, or rather uh, take away from the autopilot time because then I have to well, turn off autopilot, get off the highway, navigate my way to the supercharger, um, and then make my way from the supercharger back to the highway. Now, given it is only a couple minutes, um, but you do that times three and that adds, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes to the total time. So um, that's one of the main reasons. The second reason I did highlight it uh, earlier in the video and it was my uh, autopilot timeout. So uh, I usually rest my hands at the bottom of the wheel uh, when I'm on autopilot. It typically uh, senses my hands. Um, now when it, you know, it says, please place your hands on the wheel, then I'll start to go around and most of the time it would recognize. But that one time it didn't recognize my hands. So I was going around, you know, like trying different spots and it just wasn't sensing it. So then it gave me the time out and for a little over 20 minutes, I think it was 21 or 22 minutes, I was driving without autopilot. So that of course um, took time away from the autopilot driving time. And the third reason why the autopilot time was effectively uh, a lot lower than the total driving time is between Castleman and uh, Montreal, there was quite a bit of construction. So there were two instances in specific where the road quite literally, um, because they're doing construction, uh, the road went onto like the shoulder and then on both sides, um, there were like cones and barriers and etc. And of course workers. So I had to go, you know, 70 kilometers an hour, a lot slower than usual. Um, and yeah, I just didn't want to risk it. I don't even know if autopilot could handle that because it was just so narrow and stuff. So because of those two construction zones, I think in total is maybe like 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes of driving. Um, that was manually, so that once again hacked away from the uh, total uh, autopilot time. And so there you have it. From my trip from Toronto to Ottawa to Montreal, I used autopilot a little over 77% of the time. Um, now, as I just highlighted, it could have easily been at least 85 if it hadn't been for my timeout, uh, if it hadn't been for the construction and my frequent stops. Um, so there you have it. I guess uh, it's true. You can really use autopilot 90-95% of the time, uh, especially on road trips. So there you have it. That was my little autopilot uh, road trip experiment. 
um, with 77% uh, was the end result, which is not quite what I expected, but still good nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.